siempre glorificado por sobre todas las cosas. Be glorified. You are worthy. There is none like you. Ángeles y santos hoy se postrarán sus coronas traen al cordero que venció y cantará es más Ángeles y santos hoy se postrarán sus coronas al cordero que y cantará Get out the glory. Yes. 
Yes, he deserves all the glory. Come on, give God the praise. Yes. You deserve the glory. Oh, Lord, you're, you're here, God. You're here, God. You're so worthy, Lord. Yes. Mm. You deserve the glory. Come on, give God the praise this morning. Woo! God, you're in this place. Yes. Come on, give him praise this morning. Yes. He deserves all the praise. Yes. Santo, tú eres Santo Dios, merecedor de alabanza, tu gloria, tu gloria, I lift up your hands this morning. Can you give him praise? Can you give him glory? Come on, give him glory, 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 glory. Yes. Come on. Lift up your hands and worship him. glory. Yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on. Woo! Welcome to coffee with Pastor E. Come on. Hey, hey. From D.C. From D.C. To the world, spreading the gospel, telling everybody if you need a smile, he's got it, he's got it. If you need a word, he's got it, Woo! he's got it. Come on, Pastor D, spreading the love of God. Come on, are you out of control? Pastor E, are you out of control? It's only about the coffee. No, no, it's about God and the coffee. Come on, you must know that. Good morning, America. Good morning, family and friends. I'm so happy that you are with me and I'm with you. From the nation's capital of the world, Washington, D.C. Come on, pick up your mug. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up and say, ah. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to Coffee with Pastor Good morning, everybody. God bless you. Good morning, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Holy Spirit, Spirit Jesus, 
God of all mercy, Father of love, I have been healed, the gift of your presence, I have been lived. Yes, awaken all our spirit, Lord. Awaken up our awaken our soul, Lord. Awaken worship you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you with a humble heart. Lord, recognizing that you are our God, that there's no one like you. Father, forgive us of our trespasses, of our faults, of our actions. Lord, as we prepare ourselves uh, to enter into the book club or this devotional, we ask that your spirit may lead us, guide us, direct us. That every word that comes out of my mouth may be anointed and that many will come to the feet of the cross. Father, we ask that you put your hand of healing to those that are navigating through a sickness or problems of life. Lord, that your word will continue to transform us, renew us, and restore our lives by the power of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our Zoom ID number is 934-464-7066. Give God the praise this morning. Give him praise. Give him a clap offering of praise, people. Come on. 
Yes. Well, good morning, everybody, and God bless you. Thank you for joining us this blessed Friday. Yes, it is a Friday morning. The time is 1019. I am Central, I'm sorry, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it is about 40. Let me see. Let me see if that, that one says 43. Let me see if that's true. It is 41 degrees here in beep, Virginia in the DMV, 41, 43 degrees in the DMV area. Uh, amen. DMV means Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. Uh, amen. So we are blessed. We're back on here. Uh, amen. As we were off uh, yesterday, very tired, uh, traveling <clears throat> back to New uh, from New York to Virginia. Uh, amen. Where I make my home here. Uh, amen. Very near to Washington, D.C. Amen. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Can you please do some things for us? If you love this ministry, can you please share, like, and tag? Can you tap the hearts and show some love this morning uh, by tapping the hearts, by tapping those thumbs up, uh, by sharing? Because sharing is caring and caring. I want to lower this because some people says they can't hear me. And, and I have a, a voice. I don't know. People said they can't hear me. Uh, but I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Amen. And I want you to listen clearly. Uh, amen. So please share, like, and tag. Uh, tell other people. Please bring other people. Please tap. Uh, tell someone. Uh, tell a friend that Coffee with Pastor E is on uh, the air. Amen. Bless the Lord. Also, we need your help. Can you please give an offering? Please support this ministry. Because this ministry is solely, uh, uh, you know, it's it's only uh, sustained by your contribution, your love offering. So please, it's pinned on the bottom or on the top. I don't know where is it at, but it's pinned. It's pinned on this broadcast. Listen, and if you don't have it, then you can text, text. Coffee to one eight 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 uh three six four a uh, four four eight three again okay that's the number please give we need your help uh the little messages of Christ next month um is the an uh, the anniversary third year anniversary and we would like to bless them. If you can give towards that, please do that today. We post it here. On my Instagram is we are in Zoom. Please connect yourself with, with us in Zoom or through Instagram or Twitch or YouTube. You can do that. Do that. I got my Puerto Rican hat this morning and my shirt strutting. And uh, sadly, I must tell my family in Puerto Rico that there's a chance like 90% that I may not be going tomorrow. I'll be staying home, taking care of Skylar. Not because of Skylar, but because uh, there's no um, what do you call it? There's no seats. Very, very bad. So I, so if I can't, I don't have a seat. Remember, I go on standby. Thank God for Rebecca, <coughs> Becky, Becky, the Amen, the Jet Blue Girl, Amen. And thank God for her. Bless you, honor you, and love you, girl. That's one of my twin daughters, and that's why, that's why I could travel, people. I don't travel because your offerings. Or your tithes, or what you bless us with this ministry. I am truly blessed because I fly free. Uh, amen. And I thank God or pay the taxes uh, for international uh, uh, flights. 
Uh, amen. So I'm thankful. Please share, like, and tag. Tap the hearts. We want to get as many people as we can get. Uh, listen, download the app. Go to the App Store. Go to the Google Play Store. Type in the search bar, Coffee with... Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Can't do that anymore because we're in transition uh, to the new name, right? Uh, so you can look it up. So please hold it off. Just go to our website, www.coffeewithpastor.e.com and go to the gift section. They'll tell you where to get. Let's go. Because there's a lot of material that we want to talk about. And today's a good. How, how many were you with me on Wednesday? Uh, Tuesday, right? Tuesday. That was the last time we, we got into the book. The, uh, the armor of God. Okay? The armor of God. And we are in page 109. Put it up. Um, let, oh, I didn't get my shadows this morning. I'm sorry. Good morning, Carmen Milagros Ortiz. Our secretary, good morning, Nadian Brown from Jamaica Town. Uh, amen. God bless you, Maritza. Ludwin Maltine, bless you. Na- yes, yes. Good morning, Naomi. Good morning to all Reina and Evangelist. Listen, I need you to... Listen, I can't do more than what I can. Uh, amen. Um, we just got to share. Because sharing is caring. And caring is sharing. Bless you. Good morning. Let's get into the book. The Peace of God. The peace of God. Our salvation. She starts out by saying our salvation is not just about going to heaven and escaping hell. Hold on now. Don't, don't, hold on. Hold your pants. Hold on. Now. Thank you for sharing. Listen, you can hashtag share and people will go to this transmission. Hashtag coffee with Pastor E. Coffee with Pastor E. Hashtag that. And people will go. Come on, do it right now. Okay, so it, it hold hold your your skirt, hold your pants, hold it, hold it right there. Those are certainly, she says, the most extraordinary benefits of our relationship with Jesus. But if our concept of salvation ends there, we're selling it short. In other words. Of course, uh, undoubtedly, our mission is to get help to heaven. If, if, amen, that's the mission. That's what, what Christ, um, I amen, but that's not all of it. And that's what she's trying to say. That's what she's trying to indicate, right? That's what she's trying to uh, bring across this message. She's saying, peace, peace with God, peace with God establishes, I, I need you to underline this, underline, because this is truth. Peace with God establishes our relationship with Him. Who's Him? With God. And as a result, we can experience the peace of God. This is what makes peace a legitimate option for us right now on earth. In other words, we know that we're going to experience the peace of God up in heaven because no sin, no sickness, no sadness, no misery. We will be eternally in peace. We will be eternally in love. We will be eternally worshiping the God that made us up in heaven. But while we are here in earth, while we are here navigating or in this pilgrimage, I am walking to this world. Hi, Tina. God bless you. Welcome home. That peace we must experience from God. And anything else is just anything else is just a facade. Anything else is not authentic. Many people say, well, Pastor E, I don't know what you're talking about, but I have peace. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm living it. I'm living the life. But until you don't experience God's peace, that's right, here on earth, you will never experience God's peace in heaven until you don't accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a lot of stuff. It's 1029. I'm up. Um, let's look at let's look at um, two scriptures, right? 
turn to um did I oh sorry no no no, no. okay now let's let's keep up God's spirit indwells you at the moment of salvation now what's indwell or indwelling or indwell right it it, it talks about inhabit right to possess to abide within that's what dwelling to abide to go in when something is in you or something is in your house there's an indwelling there's something that you are at the moment of salvation and that's Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 let's go to Ephesians which we are preaching about that right on my Sunday worship celebration if you are in tune to our Sunday worship celebration it's on the app okay it's on the website uh, so you can check out that message Ephesians Ephesians chapter 1 uh, verse 13 and it says in him you are also trusted after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having beloved I'm sorry believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise so, so there is an indwelling. There's an indwelling of a spirit in you. Once you accept the Christ, that the spirit comes in, it activates. It's activated. The spirit of God is activated. And if the spirit of God is activated, the peace of God is activated in you. Let's get to you. Let's get to you. Now, she says his job is not only to sanctify you. And that's, of course, important right the sanctification is what separates us from the world what separates us from sin sanctification separates us from sin not just the word sanctification but actually uh, um uh, actually uh doing or working towards sanctification of separation of repentance, of, of letting go of your past, of letting go of your sinful nature. And that's not easy because we were born bad, but we're being taught to do good. Come on. Now, but also, as she says, it's not just to sanctify us, but also to empower us. Empower you to develop. I need you to underline. Indwelling in page 110. In that paragraph, it says God's spirit indwells, inhabits. I, I, you can put that on the side. Inhabit, to possess, to abide with, within, right? And I want you to underline. The, the, the spirit of God empowers us to live right. Come on. It says develop. And exhibits his fruits. I need you to underline. Develop, exhibits. His fruits. So when God's spirit came into our lives or your life or my life, he brought housewarming presents, a nice fruit basket, plus an array of personalized gifts for you to use in serving others. That's important. That's important. Okay. That's important. Now, as Jesus said to his disciples, she says, before his death and ultimately before returning in resurrection glory to the Father, peace, he said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. John chapter 14, verse 27. Now, now so, so, so you so so you see the anchoring, 
underline that. The anchoring. The anchor is something that holds the the, the sternum on the on the plane. Uh, I'm sorry, in the boat, uh, a boat, uh, uh, an ocean liner. Uh, uh, it, 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 when when you need to stabilize your boat, your anchor is what stabilizes it. Your anchor is what holds it. Holds it. It it goes to the bottom and it picks up a rock or some type of heaviness and it penetrates so your boat would maintain itself sturdy. Continue. Underlining. And guiding peace. So you see the anchoring and guiding peace of God is already in you as di a divine gift. Hand delivered, she says. Hand delivered. Uh, hand delivered. Yeah, because when you open your heart and you receive Christ, 